All right, good morning. We're going to take the uh, derivative of y equals the log base 5 of the square root of the quantity 7x over 3x plus 2 raised to the natural log of 5 power. Uh, I, I'm laughing because this is a funny problem, but it was in, it was in the problem set, so I'm going to use it. Um, <laughs> we're going to use properties of logarithms in order to uh, take this derivative a little easier. So uh, we know that we have a power of one-half here, so we can say that this is y equals one-half log base five of the uh, quotient three x plus two quantity, anyway, natural log of five raised to the natural log of five power. Um, now I can use uh, I can, I'm just going to do it like this. I can bring that natural log of 5 power down in front. So I can say natural log of 5 over 2 times the log base 5 of uh, 7 over 3x plus 2. And uh, now I can use some more properties to break this up. Um, into, uh, we have a quotient here, so we can break up the subtraction uh, or difference of the arguments, the logarithms of the arguments. So we have the natural log of five over two, it's just a constant, times the natural log of, I mean the log base five of seven minus the natural log of five over two, log base five of three x plus two. Um, I'm debating whether to use the change of base formula now or later. Because I, I, I honestly don't really know if it's any easier. I, I honestly don't think so. Uh, I'm looking at a solutions manual. They did something really funny. It seems like they're going backwards to me. Um, I'm not going to use the change of base formula. I'm going to take the derivative. Uh, I'm sorry. And I've left out something there. I apologize. That's 7x, not 7. So uh, I'm just going to jump in and use, use derive with the uh, logarithms. Uh, because I, I like using something other than uh, base 5. So, um, I mean base, base E. So, um, we have a constant, uh, natural log of 5 over, ooh, and that's going to be sweet too. I like this. Over 2 times 1 over the argument, which is 1 over 7x, times 1 over the natural log of the base, which is the natural log of 5. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Cancels. Uh, minus, um, oh, sorry, I didn't finish it out, times the, the uh, derivative of the argument, which is just the derivative of 7x is 7, got carried away with saying it's so easy, huh? Uh, minus the natural log of 5 over 2 times 1 over the argument, which is 3x plus 2 times 1 over the natural log of 5 times the derivative of the argument, the derivative of 2 is 0, the derivative of 3x is just 3. Again, we get those natural log of 5s to cancel. And look at that. We get y prime. Oh, even the 7s cancel. That's even sweeter. Um, we get, uh, <laughs> sorry, we get 1 over 2x minus uh, 3 over 2 times 3x plus 2. And uh, we could get a common denominator. We get y prime equals uh, 3x plus 2 minus 3 over, uh, oh, plus 3x. Um, I mean, minus 3x. And then we get, yeah, this cleans up pretty nicely. And then on the bottom, we get 2x times the quantity 3x plus 2. And then uh, 3x is cancel. And we get 2 over, ooh, even more cancellations, uh, 3x 
plus 2, 2 over 2x plus 2 cancels, and we get 1 over x times 3x plus 2. And isn't that cute?